So, today we are talking about percent change. Shh, listen, let's get going. Hey, stop talking. Okay, percent change. So, let's start off with an easy one, the one you will get right. If something drops from, this is used all over the place in life, but, uh, like money, population, just anything, any kind of thing can have a percent change. But uh, if you something drops from 100 to 80, what percent did that change? 20%. That would be called a 20% decrease. Okay, because it dropped by 20, which is 20% 20 of 100. Okay, but what if it went from 80 to 100? 20% increase. Nope. Okay. <clears throat> it increased by 20, but it did not increase by 20%. Because 20%. 20 is not 20% of 80. It increased by, oh, it increased by 20. Uh, 20 is one fourth of 80 or a quarter of 80. So this would actually be a 25% increase. How would it be 25%? Because 20 is 25% of 80. So it went up by. Oh, that's crazy. This might take a while. Okay. Uh, so here's the formula. This is, when I give you a formula, this is like the note you should write down. Percent change equals the change divided by. The original. The change divided by the original. Okay, what do you think I mean by the change? So it would be right, that'd be like the 20, that's the difference between the two numbers. So that'd be the change. That's the change. The what do I mean by original? Honor. No, well, on this one is 100, on this one it's 80. So, yeah, it was, so you do like 20 divided by 80, your calculator would say 0.25, and that's a 25% increase. Okay, the formula is the same for decrease and increase. There's no difference. Okay, does that make sense? You would do like... You would subtract. So... Change is also called the difference. It's how much is it going up or down. So, okay. Does that make sense? So, um, if I went from like 10 to 20, maybe you guys know this without the formula. You guys know what percent change that would be? Okay, let's find out. What's the change from here to here? What's the original? 10. What's 10 divided by 10? One. What's that as a percent? No. Nope. 100%. 100%. Okay, that's a 100% increase because what's 100% of 10? 10. This is increasing by all of itself. So it's increasing by 100%. Does that make sense? Yeah. What if it decreased by 100%? Zero. Because Zero. you get rid of everything. But if it increases by 100%, basically it's doubling because you're increasing by another 10 to get 20. So if it went from like 10 to 30, that would actually be a 200% increase because it's going up two of these. Okay, anyways, number one, no, no, never, never mind, we're not ready yet. Um, okay, let's say our school last year, let's say the high school had like, uh, I don't know, 84 kids, and let's say this year it increased by 15%. 
How many kids are there now? So how do I increase a number by 15%? Any guesses? Not divide. What does it mean to increase something by 15%? That's part of it. Hold on. You're kind of both right. Tuesday is Tech and Tourist. Wednesday is Wild West. Thursday is Decades Day. Friday is Mustang Spirit. Yeah. There'll be a pep rally on Friday. Okay, so back to this. Uh, yeah, to increase something by 15%, first you need to find out what is 15% of this number. You guys remember what of meant? Yes? Um, so can somebody plug that in the calculator real quick? Four for four. Yeah, Okay, 12.6, so since we're talking about people, I'll round that to 13. So if I increase 84 by 15%, is the answer supposed to be 13? No. So what's the 13 tell us? 1,300. That's how many kids it's gonna go up by. So this is like the, this is the change, this is the increase. So since it's supposed to go up, by that much, you would, you would add it. So yeah, there'd be 97. Oh, so that's big. So we started at 84, and then yeah. we ended with 97. Yeah? Could you just times it by 1.1? Yes, there is another way to do this. Sometimes we need to know this number, though, like the change and not just the uh, new number. There's another way to do it. If you want to increase by 15%, what's 100% of 84? 84. If we increase it by 15%, then it's 115%. Because 100% is all of this. So if we're taking 15% higher, then now we're 115% of it. So you could just do 1.15 times this and get the same answer. Sometimes we do need this intermediate number, though, if they ask us. How much is it increasing? How much is it decreasing? That's that. Okay, now we're ready. Now we're ready. Number one, we're going from, oh, I forgot. I did the same thing in the other class. This is, I uh, accidentally did number one. So can anybody tell me the formula for percent change? Well, difference divided by original, or I called it the change divided by the original. Okay, so what's the change? What's the difference? 20. What's the original? 80. 80. You guys remember what this came out as? It's a 25% increase. Um, I'm not going to grade on the increase thing, but. Do we have to change once right increase though? I don't care. Okay. You guys understand up and down. I don't think I need to really emphasize that. Okay, on three, we're going from 60 to 450, which is a big increase. So, what's the change, or what's the difference, and what's the, okay, 390 is the change, and the original is 60. Plug that in the calculator. Division. We want decimals because we're changing these two percents, not fractions. 6.5, and what's that as a percent? Yeah, one, two, 
so huge because it takes 100% of 60 is 60 so it's taking a lot of 60s to get up to that so it's way over 100% number five okay new section increase 700 by 40% a week and you're getting a 40% raise or something. Now how much are you getting a week? Uh, something like that. So do you guys remember how we did this? Okay, yeah, first off find out what is 40% of 700. So this is 0.40 or 0.4 times 700 is 280. Okay, is that the answer? Yeah. No. If you're increasing 700, it should be more than 700, right? So that's how much we are increasing by. So we would need to add 280. Seven decrease six hundred by fifty five percent. All right, if we're dropping something by fifty five percent, so let's say we drop six hundred by fifty percent, what would that go down to? Three hundred, yeah. So if we're dropping by fifty five percent, that's over half we should expect our answer to be less than half of what it was. So you can kind of tell about what your answer is going to be. Could, well, two, somewhere between 250, 300, somewhere in there. Okay, but how do we do it? We need to figure out what is 55% of 600. 330. And then what do we do with that? No. 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 I mean decrease. Right, decrease. Minus. So, yep. Yep. So it was about 250. That was a good guess. <laughs> getting emotional back then. <laughs> We're getting emotional a lot in our class. That's rule number one in math class, though. No crying in math class. Crying. <laughs> stiff, up, stiff upper lip. Increase 600 by... Yeah, Increase 600 by 55%. Okay, do you guys know what it would be if I increased this number by 100%? 1,200. 1,200. So I should expect this to be slightly more than 1,200. Uh, not, not quite. It's somewhere close to that, though. All right. So what do I do? What's 105 percent as a decimal? 1.05 times 600 is 630. Calculate. Add would be 1230. I was five off. Some people say it bugs their eyes for some reason. How? The white one does. The white one does? Yeah. Okay. Oh, we're not doing we're that. We're not. It's 15. All right. Um, so I suggest you guys take some good notes on these. The, <laughs> the evens on, on this box are identical to the odd that came right before. Like the method, 
is identical. I, identical to the odd that came right before it. Okay. Um, but they keep changing them every two problems, like which, which ones are blank. So hopefully it'll make sense. But okay, we have the original, we have the change, we have the percent change, and then we have the new amount. So on the first one, we would have to find the percent change and the new amount? Right. Okay, so we know the original is 68 and the change is plus 15. So we need these two guys. Uh, all right, well, let's start with the easy one, actually. If the original is 68, we're changing by going up 15. What's the new amount? 83, you just add them together. Okay, but how do I find the percent change? What was the formula from like number one, percent change? Change divided by original. Okay, I did not read the directions out loud to you guys, but it said we're going to round the percent change to a tenth of a percent. 2.2 then. It would be 0.22. Okay, it was 0.22, what word? 22. 0.5. Okay, so when we move the debt, when we change it to a percent, it's going to be 22%, but. We're going to have to round to the tenth of a percent. So it's going to be 22.1%. Kind of like the worksheet we did yesterday, actually. Now, I think the book wrote 22.1% increase, but again, I don't really. You guys. Uh, How did you get the number right? About that. I'm not going to put increase. It's going up. You guys know the difference between up and down. So I'm not worried about it. All right. Number 17, add 20. And the new price is 130, or the new thing is 135. So we're missing these two. All right. Well, we can figure out the original, right? Because if the new price was 135, or it's not money, there's a lot of money in this chapter and I start talking like it's money, but if the new number is 135 and we did plus 20, then what must the old number have been? The original number. Right, 135 minus 20, go backwards, must have been 115. And then, how do we find the percent change? Change divided by original. Change divided by original. So 20 divided by 115. They'll give us a decimal. We'll turn it into a percent. Right. Did you guys hear that? 17.4%. Technically, if you don't put the percent, it's wrong because. Can we write it out like give an answer like that? 115 plus 20, 17 plus 0.4%, 135, or do you just want the two numbers? Uh, two numbers. I'm not going to make you do it, but. Yeah. I kind of need it up here though so I can point at stuff. 125 and 86. Okay. Um, this is actually number 19. This is the same setup as number one because we're basically saying we're going from here to here. So what percent change is it? So we need the change. Right, okay, if you subtract those two, the change is, I'll write it as a, a subtract 39 minus 39. Okay, and how do we find the percent change? Yeah, the change divided by the original. So. Three one what? Oh, and then there's a 
There's not an after that. Yeah. Okay, 31.2%. Uh, no percent, it, it'd be a 31.2 percent decrease, but it's not, we don't call it negative, no. Uh, the book wrote decrease. I'm not writing decrease. I'm being rebellious. Okay. 21.274.53%. They give us a starting value and they want us to increase it by 53%. So it's times 5, 0.53? Yeah, times 0.53 to find the change. And then divide that? Nope. Or no. I think the book rounded to 0 0.2, but that's okay. We'll just keep it as 0.22. Uh, yeah, so yeah, this is the change. Yeah, like we did on number five. Once you get how much is it going up by, you have to add that to the original. So let's see. Actually, can somebody plug that in so I don't have to do it? Say again. 409. 409.22. Okay. Okay, I did 25 with the other class as a way to like explain how to do 26 if you guys want to do the bonus. So I will go ahead and do 25 after this. 23 is kind of challenging too. It's, uh, you guys might not get this one on your own. 75% decrease, 350. take good notes on this so you can reproduce it with 24 same kind uh, okay so if something is dropping by 75% what percent of it will remain 25% so what that means is 25% of the original call it in 25% of the original gives us 350. So divided by 0.25. Right. So 25% of the original is 350. So yeah, we're going to have to divide by 0.25. So the first thing I did was like 100% minus 75%. 1400 minus what to get 350? Well, it's kind of actually you can do 1400 minus 350. Uh, like, what's the difference between these two? 1050. And it would be going down 1050, so I'll put a minus right there. Six for bonus. Subtract twenty five, two percent decrease. All right. 
So, any guesses? If it's going down 25 and that's a 2% decrease. Okay. Go ahead. Oh, no, you remember the wrong way, but when you're going normal to percent, this goes this way, but when you're going percent to decimal, it goes the other way. Um, so basically what this means is 25, if it's, that's how much it's dropping by, 2% of this number must be 25. So this time it's 2%, 0.02 of this number is 25. So how would I solve for n divided by 0.02? Uh, I believe that was like uh, 1250. Okay, that's the hard part, the first step. Because the last step is just do that minus 25 to get the new number. It's not any easier. Okay, anyways, um, it's about it's the same. All right, give it a go. You guys still got like 14 minutes. Yeah. 